What's going on, YouTube world of Pamper Gang members? Welcome to the Pampers and Toys Hour, recorded from Paradise. And please all make sure you like, share, subscribe to my YouTube channel, Boy with the Pampers and the Toys. Please all make sure you like, share, subscribe to your family, your friends, and all your enemies. Also, follow me on Instagram and X, formerly known as Twitter, at the Boy with the Pampers and the Toys. Listen on the screen. So, I thought I'd get into a third video just to cook it up. Beautiful day and um, very vib high vibrational day, I feel. So we're going to talk about this Barbie uh, Skipper Babysitter's Ink doll set right here. I've been having this for quite some time. Not going to lie to y'all. I can say at least six months to a year. I can't remember. It was in the closet. So I thought, I was like, let me go ahead and open this up to talk about it. So as you can see, they got Skipper right here. She's babysitting a little girl, a little uh, uh, little adorable little cute little girl and it's almost like a kind of like a birthday little setup you know and everything so uh this i remember i think i paid like it was on sale i think maybe at ollie's our big lots i only paid like probably 15 bucks for it back then so let's get her open and quit talking about her all right, folks, so I got it open. I love this background. This background is everything. As you can see, they got the little baby girl right here. And um, we ain't going to keep it. Some people keep it, but I don't like keeping just like cardboard. That makes it. We already get humans got dust coming off our skin in our homes. And look it up if you think I'm lying. Not Google either. You can look on Google. This shit to the same thing as All right. So what we got here is we got the Barbie Babysitter's Ink uh, Skipper doll play set. So as you can see, we got Skipper right here. And one thing I like about this doll is, um, yeah, I just hate when they have the uneven hair, but I get it. It is what it is. They probably just manufacture her, sit on a assembly plant, and, you know, just set her on down. <laughs> I'm so crucial. I love that her legs are uh, articulated, posable, and um, the hands are not, arms are not, but that's okay. She reminds me a lot of this doll right here. I actually have a Barbie like this too. Uh, uh, basically, the legs are posable, and um, but the arms are not. This was the dog wash Barbie set. I think I talked about that on like a video I did a year or two ago. So pretty much these dolls on the same boat this is just skipper and this is i don't know i think it's Teresa maybe uh, maxine if you watch this video one day tell me who the face scope is because girl i don't know so just showing comparing and contrasting so what i do love about this doll play set i am gonna turn around and just put it anywhere uh let's talk about let's do the child first so I wasn't too fond of these little, well, do they got her like, oh my, okay, they already got her rubber band, okay, I didn't know all of that, so I wasn't too fond of these, um, as you can see the swing set right here, you can clip, it's like a little clip part on, you could just snap her back in, boom, and you could just swing her, and look girl, don't you fall off, don't you fall off, don't you fall off. All right, so I'm going to take her out. I wasn't too fond of these type of little um, Chelsea and, you know, all kind of dolls. I'm more of the, um, uh, I want the doll to basically have real hair, but I get it. You're going to have some dolls that have demolded sculpts because it's easier for Mattel to push out the product and her to get the money for it. So, you know, some, to that degree, I believe they like, like for example, this doll, this little, um, I'm gonna grab two of them just to show. These are, these basically are the same dolls, just different um, cultures. We don't do nationalities around here. So same doll, you know, same size. And as you can see, she fits in the blend too. So I believe these are like the younger dolls. They don't have like, um, what's the word I want to use? My brain done farted a little bit. Um, hair, like fibers and all of that. And um, 
you know, just real type of, some type of hair, I want to say it. It's one of them Sundays, I need some coffee. So, I can put these back right here because we're not talking about them. So, I love her little dress right here. Um, you know, just her little cute little shoes. And you know, Skipper's babysitting her and everything, so that's pretty cute. And the shoes have like a little logo, like a little circle. The light's keeping you from seeing it, but it has a little circle. Almost like K-Swiss, almost. So let's, I love the swing set. The swing set's adorable. She does come with a little tricycle. But here is the dynamic. This is my thing right here. How is she supposed to ride a tricycle? Like, this is what Barbie, they created a tricycle for her, but how is she supposed to get on it? How? How? <laughs> Lord. My goodness. But the tricycle, she can't fit on it anyway. So she's not articulated by no chance anyway to put on that. So I'm not much care about the tricycle. But it's cute, it's adorable. I don't think they have any articulated um, Chelsea and other kind of dolls like this. I'm going to go online and look one day just to see. So she's a cute as can be as a button. She does have like a couple little accessories. She has a little playpen area or something like that to that degree. I guess it's a playpen she could play in. Something like that, like a heart. Or maybe this is a cooler for her snacks and stuff. So... As you can see, she got a little popsicle stick right here. And I'm going to, you know, demonstrate that a little bit real quick. It ain't gonna hurt. Oh, goodness. Okay, goodness. Well, I don't know. I think um, Skipper is supposed to hold all of that because her fingers are too small. Then there is a bottle right here. A little cute little pink bottle, plain. Here goes some animal crackers. As you can see, I love that. Then she has a teddy bear. Teddy bear is cute too as well too. And then here is some sunscreen lotion. If you can see it. And then next she has like a little sippy cup thing. Now the sippy cup thing I believe she can hold. To some degree. I don't know. There's a little sippy cup she can hold in her hand. That's pretty much the only thing she can barely hold. So... Um, the doll, this little doll is just typical, but I'm going to actually overall grade the score, even with Skipper. So we'll talk about, we'll talk about our girl Skipper in a minute, and I ain't forget about Skipper. Skipper's over, like, oh, I gotta babysit this girl, I need some coins, I'm gonna try to go prime. Gotta get a dress and my hair done. So, she got this little playpen area, and I think it's cute. I think it's cute little playpen area, you know, just slide her on down. Ooh, fun, fun, fun. Another uh, Barbados. You turn your love on me. Here I go again. So, um, the playpen's cute. I mean, you know, she got a little playground set. So, I think the original cost, like, at Target and Walmart, because I think I got this at Big Lots, because the original price, they have the sticker on her from a previous store, was, like, $39.99, you're really paying for the doll and this doll and accessories. The accessories make the doll go up. That's why Barbie Fashionistas used to be $6.99, now they're $10. But if they come with accessories, they're going to make them more. Watch, watch. If we don't get this new pe this Petro doll out the way and we don't get this Bricks money real soon, yeah, I'm in the rabbit hole, folks. Then I think the doll is going to uh, go up. Oh, by the way, this floor right here is real soft and rubbery just to prove to you. She's a wee, wee. Something like that. So, um, that's cute and adorable, so let's move on. So let's talk about Skipper real quick. Skipper, I love her dress. Uh, the Queen of Hearts, I love that. Her arms are articulated, but that's cool. I like the hair, the hair is amazing. I love the glasses on the top. Skipper is about what 15, 16. So, uh, love that they, you know, now she's, she's, um, 
she can get on the tricycle, but she's too big. So they should. I wish they would have just made the doll. What sense does it make to add her when she can't get on her tricycle? It should have just been a skipper doll and a regular box set with some outfits. I don't know. Mattel just wanted some money real quick. Now, um, full scalp and all of that. Um, rooted hair. Yeah, that's the word I want to use, rooted hair. This doll, this little doll right here should have rooted hair. This doll would have, it's very disappointing. She's cute as a button though. So I love her shoes. She got these little case with little light blue shoes on. Um, I do believe Skipper can um, possibly hold her little water bottle right here as she's walking with, I guess this is Kelly, I don't know. Walk with Kelly and she can hold her. I guess this gripping arm right here is good for her to hold her. Like, come on, I gotta babysit you. Mrs. Um, Hillary is not gonna have that, me losing you. So I guess this is for her holding her. They should have just made her fully articulated in the arms. It would have been really cool. But it's okay. And, um... I just hate that these dolls be having stringy hair, stringy hair. Like, I, I, maybe they not like that when they go in a package at the manufacturer company, Mattel. But when you get them out of package, they get this atrocious split ends and... You know, it is what it is. But I like this um, Skipper doll. If I'm going to take some points off because I want her arms to be articulated. I'll give her a 9.6 out of a 10. I'm not going to take off any points for her hair. Her hair really is not the one that makes her. I think it's her arms. And um, she's a cute doll. Both of them are. I can't complain about neither one of them, honestly. So, she gets a 9.6. This whole set is a 9.6 for me. I, I um, took out the two points for her arms, and then I took off two points because her hair was not um, rooted. Rooted at all, real hair rootedness, or whatever you want to call it, so. I would say you can find this probably on maybe eBay or something. I don't think it's in stores anymore. You know, things go and come and go in the store, but she's really a cutie pie. And um, what more can we say? I would like to thank all my friends who subscribe to my YouTube channel, The Boy with the Pampers and the Toys. Please all make what well, girl? Uh, you don't sit up there. You acting up. You can't be acting brand new. Um, I'm going to call her Janet. I don't know. She's like a little baby Janet Jackson from Good Times. Good times anytime you need to pay me. I would like to thank all my friends who subscribe to my YouTube channel, The Boy with the Pampers and the Toys. Please make sure you. Like, share, subscribe to my YouTube channel, The Boy with the Pampers and Toys. Please all make sure you like, share, subscribe to your family, your friends, and all your enemies. Also, follow me on Instagram and Twitter at The Boy with the Pampers and the Toys. Listen on the screen. And um, she got to pick Baby Penny up and take her back to Joe Jackson. Like, Joe, I cannot watch your daughter no more. And Miss Jackson, um, I don't know what, Catherine Jackson. Take Baby Janet back so she can become a pop star. <laughs> Everybody have a great day.